going to make a pinwheel. There's nothing more festive than a red, white, and blue pinwheel on the 4th of July. So that is what we're going to make. And we're going to make it complete with a little stick and everything. So what we're going to do is, since I didn't have any paper that I liked that was red, white, and blue, and it was double-sided, I've gone ahead and chosen two pieces of paper from the DCWV Nantucket stack. And I'm just going to glue them on top of each other real well. So I've gone ahead and I've put lots of ATG adhesive onto the cardstock. And I'm just going to lay them down together. Then I'm going to trim off, trim off any excess so that it's completely even. Now, you know, probably don't have to trim off the excess unless you're a perfectionist. But um, a little white's not going to hurt. Okay, but it's not too hard to do. Next, we're going to go ahead and find the middle of the square. This is a 6 inch by 6 inch square. So I'm going to go ahead and mark in 3 inches on both sides. So there's my 3 inch mark. And there's my 3 inch mark. So let's line that up. So we're going to, that is my center point right there. So now I'm going to take a pair of sharp scissors and I'm going to cut in about two-thirds of the way on each corner. So I'm going to choose the corner, the very tip top of the corner, and I'm going to go ahead and cut towards that center dot almost all the way. Okay? I'm going to do that with every single one of the corners. Trying to stay kind of straight. <laughs> um, it won't mess up your pinwheel if you're not completely straight. It just might look a little wonky, but that's okay be a new kind of pinwheel on the market. Okay, so once I've done that, I have my pinwheel pieces cut. Okay, we are going to go ahead and punch a hole with a push pin right here in the center because of that, I want a thin enough or a small enough hole that it doesn't take too much away from the pinwheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use the push pin and I'm going to push um, a little holes into every other corner, so. You can use a hole punch if you want. So I did this hole. Now I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to do this corner. A hole punch would work, especially if you have a really small one. Mine just seemed to be too big. I'm going to skip this one and get the other one. So basically out of all the triangles, you're just choosing the first end. And I think I just have one left and that's it. It's hard to see them on the polka dot paper. I like this paper because it's nice and glittery. It's thick. So it should hold up pretty well. After we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a head pin. These you can find in the jewelry section and they're just flat on one end and then they're not too sharp on the other end. So just a little head pin. We're gonna go ahead and put a bead on this so it'll be ready for us in just a second. One little bead, depending on how big your bead is, depending, makes a difference on how well it's going to spin. So you may need to put more than one bead on there. One bead on the front is good. The only time you'll need an extra bead is maybe on the back if it's touching the dowel, which is the next part we're going to get ready. The dowel we're also going to need a hole in. And this size dowel is 3 sixteenths of an inch. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my push pin and I'm going to go ahead and make its way in to the top of about a half of an inch down the dowel and just kind of shimmy its way in a little bit. Have to twist it a little bit, turn it. So it makes it all the way in. Let me turn. Here we go. Maybe you can see better that way. And once it's made its way in, then just kind of twist it a little bit to make that hole just a tiny bit bigger. Then there's your hole in the end of that. And that's what our pinwheel is going to go on. Next part. We're going to go ahead and take our pinwheel and let's see, we're gonna, I think we're gonna turn it this way. I'm trying, I'm looking at my other one and I wanna make it the opposite. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start lacing it through on our head pin. So I'm gonna take the first hole, I'm gonna put it on, on the head pin, just like that, so that the pretty bead is on the outside. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take the next one with a hole in it and lace it onto there, okay? and all the way around till I have all four corners, every other corner, on the head pin. If I can find the holes. There we go. Uh, all right, one last one. There we go. So 
So that's kind of what it looks like so far. We have them all on there, and now we're gonna push that head pin through that center hole, which is why we put it there to begin with so we didn't have to try to fiddle around and find it. There we go. And depending on how thick your paper is, depends on how easily the paper will give. Since I'm using two sheets of cardstock, mine's a little thicker. You don't have to use that thick of paper. Okay, once we have that in there like that, we're gonna add another bead. And I'm actually going to add two so that it's not too close to the dowel. So it has free space to move. So there's one, and these, oh, let's see if I could tell you what, these are, what size are these? Six millimeter. I don't know if that helps any of you who have jewelry making supplies at home. Okay, so once we've done that, now comes the dowel part. You could paint the dowel before you do this too. I didn't get that ambitious. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and put that head pin on, on our dowel and it should just slide right on top of there. Then we're just gonna fold down that head pin, okay? Now we could tape that there or we could glue it. I'm gonna use hot glue and just kind of keep it in place, but first I wanna make sure my pinwheel is going to turn and it is. So it'll turn and I can blow it, but my camera's too close so I can't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm just going to hot glue the back. I'll just take my little Imaginus glue gun, my cordless, and glue that in place and then let it dry. You mostly wanna get next to that little hole at the top or glue your thumb, whichever's easier. <laughs> All right, that's it, and there is your pinwheel.